John Wesley Powell was born on March 24, 1834, in Mount Morris, New York. Powell became interested in geology at a very young age. As a young explorer, he led countless journeys down the rivers of the United States. He explored as a geological scientist during his time as a professor at the Illinois Wesleyan University. In the mid-1800s, the Colorado River was one of the last unexplored areas in the United States. No one had ever successfully navigated the full length of the Colorado, which contained the Grand Canyon. The Colorado River is a 277-mile-long stretch of river with treacherous rapids, jagged rocks, and countless other dangers. It was the last blank space on the United States geographical map. As an adventurer, the idea of an unexplored area attracted Powell. The expedition was entirely coordinated by Powell. He recruited nine men, all of whom were also avid adventurers. Four specially made wooden boats were ordered for the journey. Ten months of provisions were packed into the boats in preparation for the expedition. John Wesley Powell and his crew tipped off at Green River Station, Wyoming on May 24, 1869 for their monumental journey down the threatening river. Very early in the journey, the crew lost one of their boats which contained months worth of supplies. Before every rapid, they would scout the waters to find the best route to keep going. Many times, boats were flipped. Almost every time the party stopped, they would explore nearby canyons taking key notes about the geologic wonder. In one case, Powell got stuck on a huge cliff and had to climb up a makeshift rope made out of one of the crew members' pants. Powell studied the magnificent canyon, making keen observations and taking precise data. In his diary, Powell described the canyon as follows. The glories and the beauties of form, color, and sound unite in the Grand Canyon. Forms unrivaled even by the mountains, colors that vie with sunsets, and sounds that span the diapason from tempest to tinkling raindrop, from cataract to bubbling fountain. On July 5th, Frank Goodman, a party member, decided that he had had enough adventure and left the crew. Three more men abandoned the trip on August 8th. Scared for their lives, the three men tried to convince Powell to abort as well, but Powell led on. On August 29th, 1869, more than three months after putting in at Green River Station, John Wesley Powell and five remaining men in two boats emerged from the bottom of the Grand Canyon. They were victorious. The legacy of John Wesley Powell lives on. Powell is widely known for being the first person to navigate the Colorado River through the Grand Canyon. His geological discoveries filled the empty spaces of the American West map. Powell is also remembered for founding the United States Geological Survey. The survey still functions today and is involved with things like fracking, river water control, and climate change hazards. Powell has left the legacy of a fantastic explorer, scientist, geological enthusiast, and leader. The Grand Canyon is now protected as a national park. Through the process of conducting irrigation, topographic, and hydrographic surveys, Powell was determined to make the American West a better place. John Wesley Powell had the leadership skills of an outstanding explorer, scientist, and adventurer. His eagerness for knowledge and the adventure brought the first group of ships down the Grand Canyon and left a legacy of respect for wild rivers and the quest for knowledge of geologic wonders. Powell made his dangerous journey with 10 men, four fragile boats, minimal provisions, and no means of navigation. People today can still boat down the Grand Canyon and experience the same geologic wonders that Powell saw in his 1869 journey. His journey left a legacy of adventure, perseverance, and enduring land ethic in the American West.